let's suppose I have a function say f of x which is defined in an interval 0 to L okay what I want is I want to get an equivalent series which gives me the value of this function at each point between 0 and L and which contains only cosine terms okay so I am looking for an infinite series of cosine terms that is equivalent to this function between 0 to L okay let us see how we are going to find that series let's just suppose that my function is like this okay, it's, a, it's a general function I'm just assuming its graph is like this it could be anything okay so what I'm saying is between 0 to L my function is like this what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a reflection of this function along y-axis okay so let's suppose it's something like this okay now if you look at this function if you have a point x then over here you are going to have a point minus x okay and if over here you have a y then since it is a reflection over here also you will have the value of this function as y okay so if you look at this function between 0 to or rather between minus L to plus L let's call this function as capital F of X then if you look at capital F of X which is essentially this function then it is a even function right because your capital F of minus X is equal to capital F of X okay capital F of minus X is equal to capital F of X therefore your F of X is even okay and now if I were to get the Fourier series of this even function between minus L to L I know that it's going to have only cos terms because Bn is equal to 0 in that case okay therefore your Fourier series for fx in minus L to L is equal to what? It is equal to equal to A0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by L. Okay. Now everywhere where your function is continuous your fx is given by the sum of your Fourier series okay so between minus L to 0 it is equal to sum of your Fourier series and same is the case between 0 to L okay just look over here your fx in 0 to L is also equal to the sum of your Fourier series which is this guy n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by L but the point is fx between 0 to L is your this thing which is your small fx okay so essentially what you have got is you have represented your small fx between 0 to L as a series containing only cos terms okay and this is known as half range Fourier series or half range cos Fourier series okay cos series over here what is your A0 your A0 is going to be 2 upon L integration 0 to L capital FX DX okay and between 0 to L what is your capital FX it is your small FX so essentially your half range cos series 
A0 is given by this formula which is the same as the formula for a standard even function ok since it is even we have 2 into the standard formula ok now your a n is what your a n is 2 upon l integration 0 to l capital F x cos n pi x by l dx and between 0 to l we know my capital F x is the small f x therefore this is my formula for a n for getting my half range cosine series which is the regular formula for a standard even function ok similarly you can also get your f x which is let's say like this as a series of infinite sine terms ok so now what you are going to do is this is your f x between 0 to l right you just take a reflection about the origin ok so you are going to get something like this ok now over here if you look at this function let's make it a bit better ok so now if you look at this function let's suppose you have a point x over here and correspondingly you are going to have a point minus x over here ok so at this point if I have a value of y then at this point I have a value of minus y ok so let's call this function between minus l to l as capital fx ok this is your minus l and this is your plus l so we have created a new function between your minus l to plus l which is essentially even why so because your f of minus x is equal to what it is equal to y or rather minus y and what is your y your y is equal to f of x so what you are getting is your f of minus x is equal to minus y which is essentially odd ok why so because your capital F of minus x is equal to what it is equal to minus y ok and your capital F of x is equal to plus y therefore what you are getting is your capital F of minus x is equal to minus of fx right therefore your capital F is a odd function and its Fourier series between minus L to L would have only sine terms because A0 and An are both equal to 0 ok therefore your capital Fx is going to be equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn cos or rather sin n pi x by l between minus l to l ok so anywhere where your function is continuous ok your Fourier series is going to be equal to fx so between this point also between this interval also it is going to be equal to your Fourier series right therefore your f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x by l in interval 0 to l also ok and in the interval 0 to l your f of x rather your capital f of x is equal to your small f of x ok so I am going to write this as this so essentially you have expressed your small f x as a series of 
sign terms okay infinite sign terms and this is your half range sign series okay what is your bn bn is equal to 2 upon l integral 0 to l capital fx sin n pi x by l dx and because capital fx in interval 0 to l is small fx you get the formula which is this okay which is similar to the formula for your half range cosine series okay so that's how you express a given function in the interval 0 to l as either a half range sine series or half range cosine series okay